Chronic wasting is a contagious neurological disease affecting deer, moose, and elk. It was mainly contained in the American Midwest until recently when it started spreading both south and westward. There are currently 250 counties across 24 states with reports of chronic wasting. So what exactly is CWD? The incubation period for CWD is relatively long, which means that the infected deer won't show any symptoms for the majority of their lives. After the incubation period, the most common symptom of the infected is a display of excessive weakness. This weakness stems from the fact that the infected will no longer choose to eat healthy food and drink water like their uninfected brethren, but will instead choose to obsessively drink urine and eat feces. Dead deer have been found inside porta potties. They forced their way inside and subsequently starved to death when they couldn't get back out. No one's sure how this spreads. Some things it spread through feces, urine, and saliva, but others say it's from mother to fetus. So how does this impact us? Since no one knows how wasting spreads, we don't know if it can spread to humans. And all the CDC has been able to tell us about preventing CWD spread is to tell us not to eat infected deer. Meaning don't eat deer that looks sickly. In case it wasn't already obvious, don't eat deer that's eating its own shit. This brings up another problem, however. Not eating visibly sick deer is already pretty intuitive. We've already established that CWD has a long incubation period of around two years. That means there's a two year window when infected deer will appear to be perfectly healthy. So the question becomes, what happens if a human being eats an apparently healthy deer during its incubation period? The answer is nobody knows, and that's why you should care about this epidemic.